वेलकम बैक टू शीन एंड मी डॉग एंड द स्पैरो देर वॉज वंस अ शीप डॉग हु हैड नॉट गॉड अ काइंड मास्टर बट वन हु लेफ्ट हिम टू सफर फ्रॉम हंगर वेन ही कुड बेर इट नो लॉन्गर ही वेन सैडली अवे ऑन द रोड ही मेड अ स्पैरो हु सेड ब्रदर डॉग वाई आर यू सो सैड द डॉग एंसर because i am hungry and i have nothing to eat then said the sparrow brother dog come with me to the town and i will satisfy your hunger so they went to the town together and when they came to a butcher's shop the sparrow said to the dog stay where you are out there and i will peck down a piece of meat He perched upon the stall and looked about to see that he was not noticed. Then he pecked, pulled and pushed a piece of meat lying near the edge till at last it fell to the ground. The dog seized it and ran off with it to a corner where he devoured it. Then the sparrow said to him, "Now come with me to another shop and I will pull down another piece." so that you may have enough when the dog had gobbled up the second piece of meat the sparrow said brother dog have you had enough yes i have had enough meat replied the dog but i haven't had any bread oh you shall have some bread too said the sparrow come with me and then he led him to a baker's shop where he pecked at a couple of rolls till they fell down then as the dog still wanted more he took him to another shop where he pulled down some more bread when that was consumed the sparrow said brother dog is your hunger satisfied yes he answered now let us go and walk about outside the town for a bit so they both went out on to the high road Now it was very warm weather and when they had walked a little way the dog said I am tired and I want to go to sleep Oh by all means answered the sparrow I will sit upon this branch I will sit upon this branch in the meantime So the dog lay down upon the road and fell fast asleep While he lay there sleeping a carter came along driving a wagon with three horses the wagon was laden with two ca- casks of wine the sparrow saw that he was not going to turn aside but was going on in the track in which the dog lay and he called out carter don't do it or i will ruin you but the carter grumbled to himself you won't ruin me cracked his whip and drove the wheels of his wagon right over the dog and killed him the sparrow cried out after him carter you have killed my brother dog it will cost you your wagon and your team my wagon and my team indeed what harm can you do me asked the carter as he drove on the sparrow crept under the tarpaulin and pecked at the bung hole of one of the casks till the bung came out and all the wine trickled away without the carters being aware of it when he looked around and saw the wine dripping from the wagon he examined the cask and found that one was empty alas poor man that i am he cried not poor enough yet said the sparrow as he flew on to the head of one of the horses and pecked out its eyes when the carter saw what he was doing He seized his chopper to throw it at the sparrow but the bird flew away and the chopper hit the horse on the head and he dropped down dead Alas poor man that I am he cried not poor enough yet said the sparrow as the carter drove on with his two horses the sparrow again crept under the tarpaulin and pecked the bung out of the second cask so that all the wine ran out When the carter perceived it he cried again Alas poor man that I am but the sparrow answered Not poor enough yet 
and he seated himself on the head of the second horse and pecked its eyes out. The carter ran up with his big chopper and struck at him. But the sparrow flew away and the blow hit the horse and killed it. Alas, poor man that I am, cried the carter. Not poor enough yet, said the sparrow as he perched on the head of the third horse and pecked out its eyes. In his rage, the carter struck out at the sparrow with his chopper. Without taking aim, missed the sparrow but hit his last horse on the head and it fell down dead. Alas, poor man that I am. Not poor enough yet, said the sparrow. Now I will bring poverty to your home and he flew away. The carter had to leave his wagon standing and he went home full of rage and fury. Ah, he said to his wife, what misfortunes I have had today. The wine has all run out of the cask and my three houses are dead. Allah's husband, she answered, whatever kind of evil bird is this which has come into our house? He has assembled all the birds in the world and they have settled on our maze and they are eating it clean up. He went up into the loft where thousands and thousands of birds were sitting on the floor. They had eaten up all the maize and the sparrows sat in the middle of them. Then the carter cried out, Alas, poor man that I am. Not poor enough, answered the sparrow. Carter, it will cost you your life yet. And he flew away. Now the carter, having lost all that he possessed, went downstairs and sat down beside the stove very angry and ill-tempered. But the sparrow sat outside the window and cried, Carter, it will cost you your life. The carter seized his chopper and threw it at the sparrow. But it only smashed the window and did not hit the bird. Then the sparrow hopped in and perched on the stove and cried, Carter, it will cost you your life. The carter, mad and blind with rage, smashed the store to atoms, but the sparrow fluttered hither and thither till all the fortune, till all the furniture, the little looking grass, the bench, the table, and at last the very walls of his house were destroyed, but without ever hitting the sparrow. At last he caught it in his hand. Then said his wife, Shall I kill it? No, he cried, That would be too good for it. It shall die a much worse death. I will swallow it. And he took it and gulped it down whole. But the bird began to flutter about in his inside and at last fluttered up into the man's mouth. He stretched out his head and cried, Carter, it will cost you your life yet. The carter handed his chopper to his wife and said, Wife, kill the bird in my mouth. The woman hit out. But she aimed badly and hit the carter on the head and down he fell dead. The sparrow, however, flew out and right away. Thank you.